Hey, hey, hey! This is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Uh, gonna run this out this Saturday, New Year's Day. <clears throat> Got a little under the weather, but I figure if I keep moving, I'll maybe burn this stuff off. Anyway, this is a beautiful two tan Sea Runner Hughes Craft 2022 hard top. Very nice riding boats, very quiet. They fill every cavity in here with foam. No, it doesn't have tooth decay or anything. It's cavities, you know, the boxes and stuff and underneath, yeah. But anyway, that's what makes uh, these things so quiet. You got nice high sides on it, got the Simrad Halo. And I don't know if that's called the Halo Plus. We'll find out when I get in the boat. Yeah, the reason why dual range. You got LED light, got a VHF antenna. Uh, there's no VHF mic. I don't know where they put it. Uh, they could have put it in the boxes. They just didn't put it. I'd hook it up to the front port and I'll show you that later. It's got two bunks or two by sixes. It's got an easy loader galvanized trailer. Underneath here, double dipped, um, heavy duty. Yeah, keel, of course, has just a guide, so you do not want the boat to run on that. So this is adjusted just right. Two speed jack with stop, with lock. Got a spare tire and carrier. <clears throat> These are uh, really good uh, tires. Your ST205 75 R14 swing tongue, put a paddle lock. I would say down here on that, just to keep kids from pulling that. Got the top mount coupler, it's two and five sixteenths inch ball. This is riding real level. That's what you want it to do. You don't want it uh, riding downwards or upwards because then it puts a lot more strain on your vehicle. So this way it will tow a lot easier and keep a lot straighter. I uh, got uh, cables. That's good. You got the safety chains. This cable here, two inch ball, peekaboo hole. You got your clip. You can use a padlock for that too. I always padlock all my receivers and stingers or whatever you want to call them. Um, but these are like to say they are foam filled, well put together, chine guides. Uh, these got, uh, it's about 23, eight long. If you want to count, it's a two tan 21, but if you want to count the offshore bracket back here is like 23, eight. It's got Dima 96 side to side and uh, max horsepower is like 225 horsepower. You don't need that. This inline 200 is plenty power for that. It's an inline four cylinder. Got a 15 pitch aluminum right hand rotation. You can see by the cup, it goes like that. You got your active three in one. That's my drain plug. It does have tie downs. Keys are in the boat. <clears throat> That's your screen pickup for uh, your wash down. You got your zinc on your bars or better. They're both on. 11 by seven on this is T99 tiller. Uh, this is a 2022 the offshore bracket is part of the boat. So you can legally call it like 23 if you want, which is good. It's 21. So you're safe anyway. The next cutoff is 26 feet. That's the drain right back there, and these are all salt water protected, only true salt water protected motor out there. Uh, it's an inline four cylinder. These uh, got the variable uh, variable camshaft timing. So then this is a beautiful wife. We call her Princess. And then there's, oh, there's Mr. Prince and Princess. Yes, they're very beautiful, aren't they? Yes, and so is this boat. Uh, hello, Peyton. Uh, so anyway, we got the two coats of clear, two coats of primer on both of those. You got the stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, uh, internal zincs on every cylinder, plus on the block. You got two cylinders with two zincs internally on that. You got your special paint over here. Uh, you got LED lights, step right there, chines. Got an 80 gallon fuel tank I put in 25 gallons. Uh, non-ethanol, I always run non-ethanol. You don't have to, but I do just that way. There's no confusion when people come down. Dual wipers, there's your lights back there, sliding windows, backdrop. You got the nice uh, captain seats um, with the adjustments for the suspension. I'll show you those when I get in the boat. Uh, drainage for the step deck is right there. That little pole you see right there, that's a, just a window stop. That is a two pin half window. So if you didn't want to pull that out, you could pull that out. Uh, then you got inside depth is like 29 inches. Yeah, and this is like a 15 by 22 by 35, I believe. That's a semi variable degree hole. Uh, then you got 190 on the bottom gauge, bottom width is 78. You got side gauge is 125, which is really good. Uh, height sides on the outside are 32 inches. Eight people, 1320 uh, poundage, 2870 uh, max weight. Boat weight is 28. No, boat weight's 28, uh, which is pretty light on that. You got a lot of room. Like I say, this is a 21. Look at that deck room you got there. Uh, and then you still got a nice cabinet. You can put one, two, 
four, there's six people in there and you still got fishing room back here. Your fill's back here on your gas. And up underneath that lid, there's a seacock valve underneath that lid for your doors down. And uh, anyway, so if that eye opened, it was closed. But if I didn't and you went to hit that and it didn't pump water, that's the first place I'd look. And that's been if you have a leak and I'll show you that when I run the boat, what I'm talking about. Uh, so, uh, gear bath oil hubs, uh, brown good, white bad, five lug, 80 pounds, tire pressure 50 pounds, torsion axles, uh, welded on um, downrigger pads, rocket launchers, backlight. So what we'll do now, nice rigging job there. We'll get inside the boat real quick. You can use this. And when you get up, you can grab this handle. You can get in, you can see all the diamond plate. That's your fish box. There's your backdrop with the one, two, three, four, five, six, armrests, swivels, reclining backs on those seats. And this there's the fish box and that there's the baffle. That's the overflow and you do get a plug that's in your owner's packet. And those baffles are meant for reading them holes in there. But when that water sloshes it around, it slows it so it doesn't come out over the top. You've got courtesy lights, they work. Uh, this is your wash down. You even got uh, rod stops here. That's kind of nice. These are out of aluminum, polished. And that's your, to punch out, if you want to add a live well, you can put the switch in here and add one. That's to drain your fish box. This is your uh, wash down pump. Do these, these are lockable, as you can see. And that insulated fish box, primer valve there. You got a primer valve up under there for the kicker. That valve there is open, so the water in this fish box will drain out through the drain plug. If you turn the valve the other way, that means you hit that switch over there and it pumps it out here outside. Dual batteries, there's your switch right over there, your dual battery switch. Just go like that, shut her down. And this is the right way right here, where it says Perco. Okay, this is my book for notes. Bring that up there and up underneath here is bars. Right here is your slider, that's your swivel. This here is your back adjustment for this. You got your armrest at fold. Uh, glove box, grab handle, grab handle, trays everywhere. Uh, these lights will come on. This button right here is to turn on this light here. It's up there somewhere. Ah, there it is. Then you hit the switch again, turns it off. These straps here is when you roll this up, it clips on the outside. Uh, storage, 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 and they ain't gonna read here. Uh, turn this on, the key on, and it trims up. Shift, I always check this before I go. Horn works, wiper, it works. Build pump, yeah, it works. Live well, you don't have courtesy lights, we'll turn on that light, and those lights back there. And then nav light, you have one up on top and then you got the ones on the side. So if you ever want to see them work, just unslide that window and you can look right outside. Put your hand up there and watch for the glow. Okay, so all that works. Uh, again, there is no VHF mic. You can hook it up from the back or up front. I'd hook it up front. It gives you more cord, doesn't get tangled. Or if you want to shorten the cord, you can put it up back and put a clip somewhere like in here where you can just hit it. Uh, I got the Simrad that could be, I'm just going to say right now, that's probably a Go 9. And those are really good units. They'll do anything you want them to do. You got your tack, you got your fuel gate. Always check your fuel. Check your trailer to make sure it's level or the boat's level. Just put it on the side of the boat. Make sure it's level to check your actual fuel rate. Uh, when you're in the water, you give it enough gas to get the boat level then check. Because if you're up like that, it's going to show you have more fuel. If you're down the other way, it's going to show you have no fuel. Okay. 12 volt power point right here. You got cup holders, uh, real, real nice. But these are these two tens are awesome, you know, because you do get the extra two feet back there. So it's actually like a 20, you know, 23 foot boat. Um, but a lot of people love these. They're very stable, very quiet. Uh, you really don't need trim tabs on here. Uh, you know, sometimes people use those trim tabs and that drains a lot of fuel and you're, uh, working your motor but that's okay sometimes it's good because people don't like to work their motors that hard but after you get these broke in uh i would say if you're just idling around about say four thousand rpms all day long never goose it uh 
every one, even that kicker motor. At the end of the day, open that baby wide open, the main one for five minutes before you get back to the dock. Same thing with the kicker. Uh, open it up wide open, clears all the carbon out, and then you'll have a good run and start motor every time. Okay, and that is a tiller motor, uh, tiller instead of a remote. I think on my notes I put remote, but that's on my notes. Okay, so I'm ready to go to the water. This is your boat doctor on a beautiful, glorious day. Had a little frost on the pumpkin. Well, we have no pumpkins, but we did have frost on the roofs. So I'm going to take you to the water and show you what this boat does and set up the electronics. So there's not much to do with the VHF. Um, you know, uh, you can hook it up NEMA 2000, which I could have swore I've seen that uh, line. Yep. So that means AIS. If this is AIS compatible, which I'll tell you, yeah, right here, AIS, it will read, I can set it to redirect from here to here. So you can see any vessels with MMSI numbers, which is kind of cool, especially in the populated channels. Okay. Did your boat doctor out? Remember, subscribe or don't. It's up to you. You don't have to. You know, that's, I, like, I kind of like to see the subscriptions, but again, yeah, this is more just for info for you. You know, that's all that I'm really worried about. Uh, I'm not worried about much else than that. And those windows too are kind of nice because if you had your bumpers over there and you came in and it was rough, you could actually open up that window, grab your rope, grab your bumper, throw it over here without having to walk around and unhooking all the lines. All right, boat doctor.